Hello and welcome, Cabbage here. Let's have a look at my first clear of Izanami Kai. And um, yeah, it took me the most time to clear this one uh, because uh, this is the most difficult of all of the, uh, the Kai Impossibles. Uh, that's my opinion, and then that's the opinion of a uh, number of other uh, YouTubers that I watch. And then uh, kind of the main thing that's difficult about this quest is that uh, we need to take down uh, the monsters of the same element in the same turn, uh, or else they will revive each other. And then uh, this is difficult because uh, they're often far away from each other. And then um, the guys uh, without the weak point, they have uh, much more HP uh, than the guys with the weak point. And then uh, there are also these uh, speed up panels, uh, which if we hit, uh, you know, we'll be uh, stuck just in that horizontal or that vertical uh, shot, and so, you know, can't hit anybody else. And then, uh, the gimmicks here are blocks and warps, and there's not a whole ton of monsters with that double and all ability. And uh, to talk about the team that I'm using, first I'm using uh, Asuka Transcendent, and uh, she was from the Evangelion uh, collaboration. Uh, she has a null warp only, um, so the blocks are definitely going to get in the way. Um, she has a pretty good bump combo. It's the uh, the blast bump and then the uh, piercing homing shot. And then uh, her strike shot is really awesome for this quest. That's probably the main reason to use her. Uh, but it is a uh, chain uh, meteor strike shot. Except, um, Asuka does not need to move uh, when she uses it. Um, she throws her swords uh, around the screen. And then whomever that hits uh, will take the meteor damage. And uh, that's very, very useful for her, uh, because then we don't need to worry about the blocks or the uh, speed-up panels or, you know, hitting other guys or whatever. We can just use the uh, strike shot and then be pretty assured that we'll hit everything that we want to hit. Um, and yeah, I always felt that uh, Asuka was a very strong character and that her uh, strike shot was really good. Uh, but it wasn't until this quest that I really saw the potential for it. Um, because, yeah, you can take her to any quest, like, with any gimmicks, and still get really good use out of that strike shot, so. Uh, next up, I'm using uh, Mikumo, the, uh, sorry, Miroku, the Ascension version. And uh, she has a bounce with a uh, null block. Uh, she also has a recovery, um, so she can keep my uh, team's HP up. Uh, she has a fire slayer and fire resistance, um, so she's perfect for this quest in that sense. Uh, she does not have no warp, uh, but she does have a 12 turn strike shot where she um, gains immunity to all uh, gimmicks and then uh, becomes a pierce. Um, so we can use that, uh, you know, every three rounds uh, in order to raise our speed and attack and then uh, go through the warps. Uh, next up, I'm using a hold eye. Finally, finally uh, using her. <laughs> Uh, she is a bounce uh, with a uh, null block and a uh, grand command strike shot, which can be really good uh, because since we need to take down guys in the same turn, uh, getting all of our guys moving will really increase the chances of that happening. And then she has a decent bump combo, the uh, lock on uh, wave. And then uh, my friend, I'm using the Guinevere um, Ascension, I think it is, yeah. And then uh, she is bounced with both uh, no warp and no block, um, so she will be my most mobile character. Uh, she has a strong bump combo, which is especially good for uh, hitting lots of guys at once. Um, so that's perfect for, you know, uh, trying to get rid of um, the pairs in the same turn. And then she has a strike shot where she uh, delays everything she hits for three turns. And uh, that can really help if we are, you know, kind of behind in trying to get rid of the pairs of little guys.
Okay, that was a lucky shot there. Uh, we got rid of the two wood characters, so they will not appear uh, anymore on this stage. And then in general, I would say that getting rid of the wood pair um, first is a good idea. And uh, we'll see some later stages where that is uh, especially true. Okay, stage three. And then here I actually feel like is one of the easier uh, stages of the mission. Um, because if we start anywhere near the middle of the uh, screen, uh, we can do a slight angle up or down, and then uh, hit the uh, speed up boot guy, and then we'll go up, and then uh, depending on what order we hit stuff, um, either the uh, sling style change panel or the speed up panel, uh, we can just, you know, become a pierce and then uh, get rid of the, uh, the guys up there. Uh, unless we start out as a pierce, then it's a little bit more difficult. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that was a good example where, uh, you know, we went up, but then we came down, hit the speed up boot, and then took down all of the green guys down there. And that's a really good reason to bring a uh, fire character or two to this quest, uh, because uh, they can help you get rid of the uh, wood monsters. Uh, so Miroku looks like she's going to enter the warp, so we'll use her strike shot. Uh, she'll become a pierce, and then uh, get the speed and power up. Uh, so, we were able to take down the uh, red set of guys. Okay, first mini boss stage. Uh, same deal here, we want to get rid of the little guys in pairs and then go after the boss. Okay, so that was unlucky, but... Uh, it is worth taking down the little guys uh, as often as possible, even if you don't take down the sets. Um, because that, you know, prevents a little bit of damage to you. Okay, didn't take anybody down there, uh, but because their HP is so low, uh, then uh, it'll be easier to take him down the next turn. And then uh, here I thought I wouldn't just I wouldn't beat around the bush. <laughs> we'll just go ahead and we'll use uh, Asuka's uh, strike shot. Uh, we'll try to take down both pairs, but even to take down one pair, I would say, it'd be worth using. And uh, yeah, Asuka didn't have to move, so she didn't have to worry about the blocks or the speed up panels or anything. So uh, very easy to use for this mission. And then um, it's totally worth using the first tier of her strike shot, uh, since as we saw, it's enough to take down the little guys in uh, one hit. Okay, and then there I was hoping that the bump combos would take down the guy on the right, while I took down the guy on the left uh, with the direct attacks. And that's how it worked out, so that was perfect. And then uh, now it's just us and the boss, so we want to... Uh, you know, get in good position to do damage to her there. Um, so we absolutely do not want to hit the speed up panel on the left. So I'm doing everything I can to not hit that one. <laughs> okay, that is fine. And then uh, the Izanami Kai, she shoots out some uh, rebound lasers every now and then. Uh, the course of that rebound laser is kind of set. Um, so if we remember where that is and then position our guys correctly, uh, we can take uh, less damage. Okay, last uh, stage before the boss sequence. And then here, this is a stage where it's better to take down the uh, wood pair first. And uh, part of the reason for that is because there's only two of them. Um, so it sh should be easier to take down um, more than the uh, red pair. Okay, with Hold Eye, not a lot we can do here. Uh, I think we're very likely to hit the uh, top speed-up panel. 
somehow we were able to get around that, but we hit the other one, so whatever. <laughs> uh, but also, we were somehow able to get rid of the green pair, so that's a good start. And then we'll try to focus on getting rid of the, uh, the red set next. Whoops. And then here I was hoping that the blocks were all connected. <laughs> so that I could just get a uh, straight shot at the uh, speed up guy, but uh, no, it didn't work out that way. Uh oh, there comes that ability lock. Uh, so here with uh, Miroku, I'm going to use her strike shot. And then um, I was thinking, oh, you know, it's a null everything, so I don't need to worry about her being uh, ability locked. Uh, but it doesn't give you null block. <laughs> so that's why I wasn't able to get uh, above and then take down the guys up there. Okay, so things are looking a little dicey here. Um, so let's use uh, Hold Eye's Grand Command Strike Shot. And then uh, my goal is to get rid of all of the uh, little guys this turn. Okay, so we'll get everybody moving. And then um, everybody except for the um, character that I fire will get the... Um, well, they won't be uh, affected by the warps or the speed-up panels, so that's nice. Uh, but yeah, we took down the boss, uh, so we'll move on to the boss sequence. And uh, yeah, same deal here. And then, um, as we can see, all of the uh, green characters are lined up on the right. Uh, so it can be easy to take them down in the same turn, so we'll try to do that first. Okay, Guinevere was on the uh, Sling Style Change panel, so we need to think about uh, where she's going to go. Whoops, regular bound there. Okay, I almost got the red set. Uh, but I did do a lot of damage uh, to the boss. Uh, but uh, this was when I realized that the uh, the little guys are healing the boss. Um, so that's why we really need to take down all of them first uh, before we can go after the boss. Okay, and then with a hold eye there, we jumped into the speed up panel and got rid of the uh, green set. Uh, so now we can start going after the red set. And I was very much debating using uh, Guinevere's Strike Shot here uh, to do the delay. And uh, the delay can be actually useful against the uh, little guys as well. Uh, if we don't take them all down in one turn, uh, if we delay their revival, uh, that gives us more turns to take down the uh, rest of the guys. Uh, but yeah, there we are able to get rid of all the little guys um, using the bump combo, so that was great. And then uh, with Asuka, I was hoping to maybe kind of work my way down and get over to the left side of Izanami, but uh, missed that and then hit the speed up panel, so uh, we weren't able to get anywhere. Okay, with uh, Miroku, we'll grab that heart there. And nice damage there from Guinevere's bump combo. Okay, with Hold Eye, let's get some more bump combos out. Okay, again, very nice damage from Guinevere. Okay, okay, good damage there.
Okay, second boss stage. And then uh, here too, let's use uh, Asuka's uh, strike shot. And then this time I'll try to go for uh, both sets of enemies. So let's aim down. Let's hit the wall down there. Uh, we'll come up. Pretty confident we'll get rid of the red set. And okay, we got them all. <laughs> so that really, really speeds up this stage. Uh, now we can just go straight for the boss. And then also because it's the uh, Chain Meteor, uh, there's extra damage on the boss herself as well uh, because we hit so many of the other little guys. And then, uh, yes, we definitely do not want to get into the uh, speed up panels uh, since they'll just send us, um, you know, where we can't be very useful. Okay, pretty good. Alright, last boss stage. And uh, yeah, as we can see, uh, the, uh, the sets, uh, the red set and the green set, uh, they're definitely on opposite sides of the screen. Um, so here, this stage, this is really where you want a, uh, you know, a pierce with the uh, Null Block. Failing that though, you could use the uh, Sling Style panels, although that might be a, a tricky shot. Okay, with Miroku here, let's use her uh, Strike Shot. Uh, again, she becomes a Pierce, gets the uh, Speed and Power Up. Um, so I was able to get rid of the uh, Red Set, uh, not quite able to get rid of the uh, green set. Alright, Hodai is on the warp, uh, but I'm trying to get on the right side of Izanagi, uh, Izanami Kai. Uh, mostly to get out Guinevere's bump combo. <laughs> Okay, with uh, Guinevere, let's use her Strike Shot. Uh, that's the uh, Delay Strike Shot. And then uh, we'll try to hit everybody. Uh, because again, if we do that, uh, not only can we delay Izanami's uh, attacks, uh, we can also delay the little guy's uh, revival. And so maybe have an easier time of uh, you know getting rid of their set. So we'll try to do something with Asuka and fail. And then uh, here with the Miroku, we're going to go for a pinch shot, and we'll get it, uh, but I forgot about the uh, healing every turn, so, whoops. <laughs> and that turned out great, okay. So we got rid of all the little guys, uh, now we can go after the boss. Okay, not a ton of damage there. Uh, we really want to hit the weak point, so uh, bump combos are going to help with that. Okay, with a Miroku, let's try that pinch shot again. Yeah, it didn't quite work that time. Uh, but we did get rid of the uh, the drone, so no more win, maybe. <laughs> and then uh, Holdai's uh, Grand Command Strike Shot is uh, ready again, so let's use that. And that will do it. Wonderful. <laughs> Alright, so that was Izanami Kai. Uh, very, very difficult. And, um, yeah. I think after this quest came out, um, you know, all of the uh, JP players are like, oh my god, the Kai series is really tough. 
but none of the later missions I felt were as tough as Izanami Kai. Okay, so we have a chance to get a drop of a regular Izanami in a chest, uh, but the no continue clear will have the guaranteed drop of the Kai monster. And uh, it will come with one of five uh, random sub bump combos and an Ableberry slot, so uh, it's pretty good to have. And then uh, let's move over and then look at which uh, sub bump combos are available. Okay. So we have a cross laser S, uh, that is no good, I would say skip it. And then we have the piercing spread, uh, which could be okay uh, in uh, stages where you need to set off uh, counterattacks. Um, next up we have the uh, rebound laser, and this is basically just like a, a little power up to her main bump combo. Um, I wouldn't say that it's too great. Uh, the next one is the, uh, the green peas, uh, but the red version. And this one I really like. Um, it kind of goes in the same area as her rebound laser. Um, but it's not a laser, of course, so it won't be blocked by laser barriers. And then that will uh, kind of increase her damage in a uh, kind of a greater variety of quests. And then uh, you can also get a lot of hits in, so it can be useful against uh, scorpions as well. And then uh, pretty good against uh, bosses too, I would say. They're nice big targets, so they're easy to hit. And then the last one is a uh, plasma. And uh, yeah, there are lots of fans of uh, Plasma out there. Uh, I'm not one of them, but if it was a bump combo that you liked, uh, that would be a perfectly good one for her. And then um, overall, the two I would say I would recommend the most are the uh, Green Peas and then the Plasma. Um, so yeah, let's head over to my box and then see if I got one of those two. And no, we got the Cross Laser. Um, so I'm going to have to go back in through Izanami Kai, and then hopefully get uh, one of the better bump combos. Okay, uh, hopefully that was helpful, and we'll see you again. Take care.